Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Today we're going to carry on taking a look at some figures from the Vintage Collection and this figure that I'm about to show you is probably one of my favourite figures from the Vintage line. Once again I know I say that a lot of figures are my favourites but this guy just blows every other one like it out of the water. It's a really, really good figure and uh, if you can get this guy I would highly recommend picking him up. The figure in question is this fella, the Imperial Sand Trooper. Now I know what you're thinking, we've seen a million and one different versions of the Sand Trooper in the Star Wars figure line in the past, but this one is like no other, it's really, really good. Um, not only have Hasbro reverted to some of their roots with this figure, but some of the new accessories that they've included with it are superb, and overall it's just a terrific figure, um, and definitely a superb army builder. So... That's my first initial thoughts on the figure. Um, before we go into too much detail though, again, we are going to take a look at the packaging that this guy comes in. And here it is. Now, you will notice that this isn't your average looking vintage card back. This is actually the Lost Line card, which I'm, I've alluded to in past reviews. Um, but basically what this Lost Line card back is... Um, it's an abandoned packaging concept that was proposed by Kenner um, back in the late 80s, I believe, um, for Star Wars figure packaging. Um, obviously, you've got the retro Star Wars logo at the top there, um, which indicates the, the time period. Um, but basically, um, what this packaging um, represents is, as I said, an abandoned um, proposed look um, for Star Wars packaging, and it was brought to life in a San Diego Comic Con exclusive set a couple of years back. Um, if you remember the Carbon Freezing Chamber, um, I'll not say play set, but collector's set, um, basically that, that set featured one figure from each of the six Star Wars films, and they were all released on this uh, fairly unique card back. Um, some of them were made available at general retail, some of them um, were not. Um, but some of them were also, well, they were all actually released on standard vintage card backs as well. And if we take a look on the back of the packaging, you'll see the figures in the line. Now, Darth Vader is one of those figures that I have reviewed um, on the regular vintage card back. Um, Princess Leia and Jar Jar Binks are the other two figures that I have um, on uh, vintage cards. And I'll be giving you a look at those in the near future. Um, on the back of the card there you've got an image of the figure and also a bit of history about the Lost Line. So if you want to pause that and give that a read or check it out in the video description. And then on the front of the card you've got an image of the planet on which the character resides as well as an image of the character itself. So there we go, that is the Lost Line packaging that this figure comes in. Now let's take a look at the actual plastic figure itself. Um, as I said at the beginning of the review best sand trooper ever in my opinion um, it's based on the uh, vintage collection sand trooper sculpt from wave 2 um, which was also a figure released with the legacy collection due back as you can see this time around Hasbro have given this one a ton of sandy weathering which is fantastic um, it's actually something they stopped doing in around 2008 with their figures you know all dirty troopers were released clean for a, a period um, but now the weathering is back and it looks fantastic. Um, we do get a standard Sand Trooper rifle with this figure, as well as an orange shoulder pauldron, and we also get a brand new E11 blaster rifle, which in my opinion is one of the few highlights of this figure, or one of the many highlights, should I say. As you can see, this is a brand new sculpt, and it looks fantastic. It's basically a scaled-down sideshow piece, and I'll explain why that is. Basically, um, if you've collected any of the Sideshow Collectibles 1-6 scale figures in the past, then you'll know that the E11 Blaster Rifles that are included with those figures do indeed have a foldable stock. And one thing Hasbro has included with this rifle is a stock that can be unfolded. And for a weapon of this size, that really is a fantastic feature. As you can see, the stock hinges round you can fold that up to the reverse of the weapon and the level of detail in this thing is just fantastic and I'm really really impressed that Hasbro went to the effort of putting this one in so there we go that's the E11 
Hopefully all the E11 blaster rifles that are released in the future will be based on this sculpt as it's just fantastic, excellent accessory in my opinion, one of the best to be released with a Star Wars figure in quite some time if you ask me. Um, not only do you get those two weapons but as you can see on the backpack you've got this translucent rod which does connect to a sentry droid which as you can see gives you the illusion that it's floating behind the sand trooper looking for the droids. Uh, as I said, with the figure being based off the Wave 2 uh, Sand Trooper sculpt, he does have some superb articulation. He's got a ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders, elbows and swivel wrists. He has ball hinged hips, knees and ankles. So pretty much articulated everywhere that you'd expect him to be. And overall, just a stunning, stunning looking figure. Highly recommended and, you know, if you've passed on this figure in the past, then... What are you thinking? This guy's awesome. You know, really, really cool figure. Um, there have been a ton of cool figures released in the vintage collection, but this is definitely one of them. And uh, since he's such an iconic character, he's definitely one of those figures that you don't want to miss out on. So if you find him in stores, if you haven't picked him up already, then do, by all means, grab one. As they are superb. Highly recommended figure. So there we go, that is the Sand Trooper from the Vintage Collection Lost Line. I hope you enjoyed having a look at this guy, and I'll be back with some more reviews very soon. Until then, as always guys, keep collecting, and may the force be with you.